is the living God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is the day that the Lord has made. You and I we will rejoice and be glad in it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I welcome you all, my beloved sisters and brothers. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Happy New Year to all, every one of us. Happy New Year, Happy New Year this year. By the grace of God, it is my prayer, it is my wish for every one of us. We will go higher and higher in the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Good health, blessings of God. Have, open, open heaven to every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. This 2020, blessing of God, which shall shower upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me, I want to have a word of prayer. May the Lord bless you. You are welcome. Oh, Father God, the King of kings, the Lord of Lord, the ancients of the Father, you are beautiful, you are excellent, you are wonderful. Father, no other gods like you, no other gods to compare to you are the most high God, Father. But I thank you, Almighty God, for your giving us this this hour, this moment, Almighty God, to come in present of you and sit down at your feet, Almighty God, to hear from you, Almighty God, Father, my Lord. We bless your holy name, we exalt your name, you are worthy. But in any way that you are sinning against you, that I'm sinning against you, Lord, I ask for your mercy. And I wash me, wash each and every one of us in your precious blood, Lord. Father, I might cover myself, cover each and every one of us with the blood of Jesus Christ, Father. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ in the air, on the land, on the sea, under the sea, with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, cover my environment with the blood of Jesus Christ. My community with the precious blood of the Lamb of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, cover your word with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, you are worthy. Holy Spirit of God, without you, we cannot do nothing. Come and have your way. Holy Spirit of God, abide with me in the name of Jesus Christ. Abide with me, Holy Spirit of God. Fill me with your Holy Spirit of God. Fill me afresh in the name of Jesus Christ. Fill me with your Holy Ghost and with your power, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of God, I decree you increase in me. I hand over the ministry unto you. It belongs to you. Use your lose this ministry for your glory to win souls to your kingdom in Jesus' name. And I'm going to bless your only my soul, your only Father. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, arise and let your enemies scatter wherever the enemy gather because of of this message that you have given to me to deliver and I let your thunder fire arise and consume those power let them fall and scatter in Jesus scatter in pieces in Jesus name father let your will be done in the name of Jesus Christ father any flesh in me let him die in the name of Jesus Christ crucify every flesh in me in Jesus name only you almighty God Holy Spirit to you Holy Spirit of God only you speak through me in the name of Jesus Christ father use my mouth to be the mouth of oracle to your son to your daughter right now father the one that will hear it now the one that will hear it here our Lord Jesus Jesus Christ comes back, but I choose this message to transform us for your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I love you. I love you. I love you. I bless your only Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I would like to sing to the glory of God. May the Lord bless you. I would like to sing to the glory of God. If you know the Son, just join me. Let us glorify our Father. Almighty God, His word, His mighty. Our Father, our Father in heaven, we glorify your name, we bow down before you. Our Father in heaven, we glorify your name, we bow down before you. Our Father in heaven, we glorify your name, we bow down before you. Our Father in heaven, we glorify your name, we bow down before you, our Father in heaven. We glorify your name, we bow down before you, our Father in heaven. We glorify your name, we bow down before you our father in heaven we glorify your name we bow down before you our father in heaven we glorify your name we bow down before you our father in heaven we glorify your name we bow down before you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. We thank God for his goodness. We thank God for his blessings. We thank God for bringing us again. 
Amen. Something more than go. Yes, 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 yes. Something more than go. The Spirit of God in the heart of man. Oh, something more than go. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, something more than go. Something more than good. The spirits of God in the heart of men. Oh, so yes, something more than good. Oh, something more than good. Something more than good. The spirits of God in the heart of men. Oh, yes, something more than good. Oh, something more than good. Oh, something more than savor. The spirit of God in the heart of men. Oh, something more than good. Oh, something more than good, something more than good. The spirit of God in the heart of men. Oh, yes, something more than good. Yes, it's more than good. Oh, yes, it's more than good. The spirit of God in the heart of men. Oh, yes, something more than good, something more than good, something more than good. The spirit of God in the heart of men. Oh, something more than good. Yes, it's more than good. Oh, yes, it's more than good. The spirit of God in the heart of men. Oh, yes, something more than good. Oh, something more than good. Something more than good. The spirit of God in the heart of men. Oh, yes, something more than good. Oh, something more than good. Something more than good. The spirit of God in the heart of men. Oh, yes, something more than good. Amen. Something more than gold, my beloved sisters, sisters and brothers. Something more than gold, the spirit of God in the heart of men. The spirit of God that is in your heart, the spirit of God that is in my heart is more than gold, it's more than riches, it's more than diamond, it's more, it's more than silver. The spirit of God is more than gold. He is more than gold. That's the worldly people, they pursue the riches of this world, the gold of this world. They pursue the gold of this world. And they forgot, they have forgotten one day, they will close their eyes in death. Instead of them to see for what is more than gold, to see for more than his riches, that the, the Holy Spirit that will lead them to where they came from, but they are not doing it. May the Lord have mercy. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So, praise Master Jesus. The topic of today, we are going to talk about the Holy Spirit. The help of the Holy Spirit. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The help of the sweet Holy Spirit in the believer. In you, in me. The spirit of the most high God, the spirit of truth that the world cannot accept because there is no lie in him. All that is in him is true. The spirit of truth. I would like us to go to the book. Let us go to the let us travel to the book of uh, first John. Praise Master Jesus. First John chapter 5, verse 7. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. First John chapter 5, verse 7. Hallelujah. Amen. I read in Jesus' name. It said, For there are three that appear record in heaven the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And the doors three are one. Those three are one. The God the Father, the God the Son, the God the Holy Spirit, they are one. We, you and I, we cannot separate them. You and I cannot say, I believe in God, I believe in Jesus. I don't believe Holy Spirit. It's not working. You cannot say, I believe in God, I believe Holy Spirit, I don't believe in Jesus. It's not working. Three in one. The God, the Father, the Word, the Word is the Son. He's His Son. Jesus is the Word and the Holy Ghost. 
praise master jesus and the holy ghost you and i we are so privileged you and i we are so blessed that almighty god loves you so much loves me so much that he sent his flesh he sent his special son to come and pay the price for you and i so as soon we finish on this set we can come and meet him when we finish on this set, we will come and meet him sorry we will come and meet him he came holy spirit helped him as he knew that father god father lord jesus Christ knew you and i we cannot able to fulfill what he has already placed in us taught, taught, taught the disciples with with our own strength we cannot able to fulfill it he knew that it's the holy spirit that helped him for all the days of his life living on this earth his mission his ministry it was the help of the holy spirit because of that he said let me go to my father so i will ask my father to give you and now the holy spirit and what he promised you and i he did what he promised you and i the day you are not the day you are not accept jesus christ as our lord our savior jesus christ our lord our savior the holy spirit has given us that holy spirit and now the holy spirit dwells in us the holy spirit dwells in us the three one that is the, the father the son and the holy spirit dwells in us the holy spirit dwells in us he is the um, he is the one that helping you are now why holy spirit is here is for your is for your good it's for my good it's for him to help you it's for him to help me it's because it, it's because of that is here his mission is just to be a helper to us he just be here to help you to help me praise master jesus we bless the name of the lord i would like to i would like us to go to the uh, book of uh, john saint john the book of john chapter six uh, the book of john chapter 14. the book of john chapter 14. hallelujah verse 16 and 17. hallelujah to the lamb of god i read in jesus name praise master jesus hallelujah he said and i will never pray the father and he shall give you an uh, another comforter that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him but ye know him for he for he dwelleth with you and it shall be in you praise master jesus you and i can hear what father god is telling us the word of the lord is telling you knows Father lord jesus christ is telling you and now that let me go to father i will ask him to send you a a, a a comforter that comforter will be in you it will be in you it will be in me it dwell in you it dwell in me you see we are blessed it's because of that you, you and i we uh, this 2020 again god have blessed you and i to enter again we bless the name of the lord please we should not forget about holy spirit we should not ne neglect him we should not put him aside please put it in practice holy spirit before you as you are praying ask holy spirit to help you to intercede because he is the one that knows what father god needs he is the one that knew that what you will ask for that that what you will pray that a father god will hear you and they answer you because you know you are now when we are praying you can you can you can imagine you can even say yes it's true i know what he mean it's true when i pray is that time i'm thinking about the pot of soup what which soup am i going to cook now i'm praying no i'm in the presence of god which soup am i going to pray where am i going which mall are we go today to go and shopping you are praying but your mind is distracted taking another thing and you're in the presence of god why is it like that is the enemy of your soul of my soul he doesn't want us to concentrate in our prayer time he's distracting us to go our mind to travel to many places it's because of that you are now as a believer we have holy spirit as our mind is wandering around holy spirit is helping us preparing the prayers 
packing the prayers, packaging the prayers, polishing the prayer, and presenting to Almighty God. No matter what you have said, even though your mind was not there when you were praying, but Holy Spirit is there with you. He's helping you to pray. He's your intercessor. He's my intercessor. We are so blessed. We are so blessed that the Holy Spirit, the the the, 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 the new thing, the Old Testament, the people in that Old Testament, they, 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 they didn't have this privilege. You and I, we've got it. That time, it's only the priest. The Holy Spirit is upon the priest. Not every one of them. Some of them, not every one of them. You can remember the time. At the time, uh, uh, Moses was praying. When, the, when God was telling the, uh, Moses to pray for the, to call the, 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 the elders. So they can take the spirit that is in the Moses and, uh, and they put it on the, on the, on the elders that he will help. They will start helping him. So when the Moses called them, then he was praying for them. And the Holy Spirit de de descended on them. It was only the priest. It was only the priest by them. But now, I thank God for you and I, all believers. All believers that, 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 that believe Jesus Christ is Lord. That Jesus Christ paid the price for us. The Holy Spirit is with you. The Holy Spirit is with me. He happy, he's helping us every moment of the day to pray according to the will of God. Not according to my will, not according to your will, but according to the will that the God Almighty will answer you and I. Beloved, the spirit of truth is in you. The spirit of truth is in me. That the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, the word, the worldly people cannot accept him because you know, the worldly people, every second word they say, they will put lie. They cannot just live without lie. The worldly people, they cannot. They are telling you many, the, the words, the any second word is lie. Watch them out. You were there before, I was there before. Every second word that time, I said, so somebody lie must John. But I thank God for delivering me. I thank God for, for his mercy that delivered me from the spirit of lie and he's still delivering me till Lord Jesus Christ comes back. It's because of that you and I, we must rely on the Holy Spirit. He's here to help you. He's here to help you because without the Holy Spirit, you and I, our flesh, our flesh decide not to, for us not to go to heaven because he will leave, he will, we will drop him here. He will be on this earth. You and I, we go to heaven with our, we go and miss our, he our heavenly father by the grace of God. It's because of that, the, the flesh is fighting you and now every moment of the day, not to live according to the word of God, according to the will of God. But the Holy Spirit is there fighting for us, fighting the flesh so that you and I, we fulfill the will of God. So that you and I, we fulfill the will of God. He dress in you, he dress in me. We should not neglect him. We should not put him aside. We should not say, the Holy Spirit, I don't need you. No, please. When you're praying, ask him, Holy Spirit, my, my, my helper, please. I need you to help me. Holy Spirit, I welcome you, my miss. Holy Spirit, dwell in me. Holy Spirit, help me to intercede. I need you. I need your help, Holy Spirit. Please don't leave me. You are my comforter. I don't have other helper. You are the helper. You are my helper, Father God gave to me. Please don't neglect me. Please don't neglect me, Holy Spirit. I love you. Holy Spirit, please abide with me. The work of the Holy Spirit is to abide with you and I. Beloved, let us call him. Let us, let us acknowledge him in our lives. Let us ask him what is his duty for him to do his duty in our lives. You know, there is many churches, they don't, think, they don't teach about Holy Spirit. And they don't talk about Holy Spirit. I don't know which heaven are they going. Is it the heaven that Lord Jesus Christ came? And the, and the, and the Holy Spirit is the one that, that helped him, that led him. Is it the heaven they are going? I have no idea. I have no idea which heaven they are going. That They, they don't preach a word. They don't preach about the, the, the help of the Holy Spirit for us not to neglect him. Because he's very vital in our life, Holy Spirit. 100% vital is your leader, is my leader. We must depend on him. Let us make it our duty this 2020. 
We should not neglect him, not in one second. You wake up, you welcome you. The God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit, I welcome you today, Father God, in my life. Thank them. Thank them. The God, the God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit, I thank you. I welcome you, my life. You are 100% welcome. I love you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Our helper. I would like us to go to the book of uh, Romans. Let us see the book of Romans chapter 8. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us see what the Holy Spirit, uh, the work of the Holy Spirit, the work of the Holy Spirit for you and I, for us not to neglect him, for us to appreciate him, what he's doing in our life. Praise Master Jesus. Holy Spirit is beautiful. Hallelujah. Let us go to the book of uh, Romans. I will start from, uh, from 8. Romans chapter 8, I will start from 1 to 2, 5, uh, 4 to 5. I will continue on 9 to 11. I will continue on so. Let us follow it step by step. Pray, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. There is a therefore now no condemnation to them which are in the Christ Jesus, who walk not after the spirit and after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the, the law of the uh, spirit of a life in Christ. Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Praise Master Jesus. You can hear the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is telling you and I that uh, you and I, as you and I, we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord, our Savior. No more condemnations. No more condemnation for you and I. Because you are under the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ wash your sins and wash my sins away. Praise Master Jesus. Jesus praise my, it's because of that you and I must ask for mercy in every moment of the day. You remember, please ask for mercy. Please for mercy. I tell you, just going on your way gently with your, with your holy righteous, uh, righteous person of God. Something just flesh and the be 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 board that will pollute your eyes. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ. You are hearing something. Music, all these things that come that is not of God. Blood of Jesus Christ. Always you and I, let us plead the blood of Jesus Christ. You see, it's a, it's a who, well, you and I, we are not walking after the flesh. You and I, the spirit of God is in you now. Is in me. We are walking. Every day we walk, we walk after the spirit. Not after the flesh anymore. Because we don't surrender to the flesh. We surrender to the spirit. And so as you and I surrender to the spirit, so the spirit of God have the upper hand over the flesh. It's because of that you and I, we must live a holy life. We must live a righteous life. Because we, if you, you and I don't live a holy life, righteous life, I am sorry. I am sorry. You can pray. What you want to pray, Holy Spirit is not there with you. I'm telling you the truth. Because he is the spirit of truth. He will not say where you are lying, where you are cheating, where you are uh, uh, fornicating, masturbating. He will not stay there. I'm sorry. Don't deceive yourself. I should not deceive myself. He is holy. He is pure. Your heart and my heart must be pure. So the, the flesh now, has to die. As the flesh die, Holy Spirit take over our lives. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God dwells in us for the, the law of, a death, of, of the Spirit of a life in Christ Jesus has made you and I to flee from what? To flee, to, to, to flee from a law of a sin and death. You know, when you tell somebody that uh, when you die, there is second death. You close your eye in death. The second death is the one from everlasting to everlasting. The person will not see his maker. That person will be so it will be separated from God. That is everlasting death. That is the second death. The second death that the second death you that person will be in the hell fire. He will never see his God anymore. The God that brought you from heaven to come and enjoy these things on this earth. As that you finish on this earth, you're supposed to, you and I were supposed to go there and spend our eternity with him. 
He prepares everything for you and I. He re everything is ready. He's waiting for you and I to come. But Mr. Flesh is fighting you and I. It's because of that you and I should not surrender to the flesh. We surrender to the, to the Holy Spirit. I'm still reading the word of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So, so the Spirit, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and the, the, Holy, the Holy Spirit gives you and I freedom from sin. It's the Holy Spirit that makes you and I to deny sin, that to, to, to flee from sin. You know? When your boss is telling you, and that boss, that your boss is so good to you, and that your boss, he helps you really well. But when the boss will come to you said, ah, uh, maybe you're a secretary. Then he will come to you, ah, uh, he will tell you, I'm in the office. If anybody called to talk to me, tell that person, I am not around. <laughs> you are a child of God. He's telling you, that man is very nice. Or that woman, she's very nice to you. But now he's telling you to lie. He's telling you to lie for him, on behalf of him, for you to lie. As a Christian, are you going to do, even though he's nice to you, even though he helps you, in this moment that he's telling you to lie, are you going to lie? Many Christians, they submit to the flesh. As the boss, before the boss even say, when they will call me, anyone that calls, tell them I, I'm, not, I'm not in the office. The Christ, some of the Christians will even, before the, 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 the boss is saying, he say, ah, don't worry. You know me, sir. You know what I can do. Ah. You call yourself a, a, a child of God. You call yourself a child of God. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. The Holy Spirit, the word of the Lord, is telling you and I, Holy Spirit, is the one that helps you and I to flee, have freedom from sin, to flee from sin. And the, the, the boss is telling you, tell my customer, tell anyone that will call me, I am not around. And you are sent to lie. When you know he's around, you see? You see how some the Christian they do? And when something is not working in your life, you start complaining. You start complaining, God doesn't answer your prayer when you know you are disobeying God. Not just only that, you knew quite all right, all liars where they will, where they will uh, end their life. All liars will end up in the, in the lack of fire. In the hellfire, you don't want that one to be your portion. I don't want that one to be my portion. Please, we should not lie. When somebody said, cover me up, tell the person, why should I cover you up? If that person said, cover me up, is in lies. Don't, uh, don't buy to that, to, to that person. Even though that person, your father, your mother, even though that person is your children, your husband, your wife, don't lie. You don't know what they, that, that moment you are lying, Jesus Christ appeared. Rapture take place. So where do you think it will be? Just that small lie, just to cover up. You are covering your, your family member, or your boss up. Or somebody that tells you to cover me up. If I call you, please, tell the so, 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 so person. The so, 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 so thing. And you know. That thing that the, that person is telling you, that friend is telling you, that message is giving you, is lie. Don't deliver that message. Tell that person I don't lie. If you want to lie, that is your own cup of tea. Please, I don't lie. Don't don't involve me in lie. I don't lie. Just let that person know. The next thing, the next time, the next time you will see that person will not call you for evil. Because that your friend is calling you for evil, to lie, is evil. That person will know you, you stand for the truth. And that, that, that your friend will trust you so much, you will not believe it. 
in the time of secret, secret, secret thing in, in, in that in your friend's life is you is coming to tell. Because he knows you don't lie. He knows you're a child of God. You can keep secret. He will come and tell you his problem. I heard a, a, a servant of God, woman of God was saying. So she was saying, when she was preaching, she, was, she said, she was a secretary in this, uh, in the, in the, in our company, in the, in their company. So that time she was not a servant of God yet, but she was a, a born again. Then the boss came and said, I want you to write so, so, so bill, send it to so, so, so customer. And uh, this bill, this customer has already paid the bill. But this, uh, and, and this, uh, what is it called? The, the, the customer, the, the boss now want to cheat she this this person and the, the the servant of god she told her sir i am sorry i cannot lie hey she said before she said it she sweats all her inner being she was sweating how she will confront confront her boss that she cannot lie she was sweating so panicky she doesn't know what uh, the boss we do. We terminate her. Oh, he will, he, will, he, will, he will keep her. It's because of that you and now, when we stand for the truth, Holy Spirit is there to fight for you and I. Holy Spirit is there to defend you and I. Do you know what? The boss, when he spoke, he, when he, he, he spoke to, the, to the boss, he told the boss, please, sir, I cannot lie. The boss, he said the boss stood and looked at her, gazed at her, and then went away, turned and, and, and turned his face and went away. Could you believe some weeks, a bit some month later, this boss promotes the servant of God? He promotes the servant of God. Why? Because he knows if I hand over this, uh, this uh, company to this woman, he will, she will be truthful. She will not cheat me. She will not lie to me. She says she's a Christian. I can see the Christianity in her. It's because of that you are now, as a child of God, let, her, let, our, let our, our behavior, our attitude show to people, I am a child of God. When somebody sees you, he will know, we can't know, we can't not even doubt it. He said, this child, this person is a child of God. As I can see him, he's not, he doesn't have to preach to me. He doesn't have to, to, to evangelize to me. His life has already evangelized to me. Because he sees that person, he, he's been watching that person, he knows that person is different. He can see even the language you, you and I are speaking, that language of that person is different. It's not the worldly now language. So this, uh, this, uh, servant, this servant of God, she was promoted by saying the truth, by speaking the truth as for, as for the truth, even though she was shivering, even though she was afraid, even though she was sweating. She said, no, I will obey my God. And she did as she obeyed her God, as she honored her God, and God promote her. Praise Master Jesus. God promote her in the way that she didn't, didn't even think of. God will do. Praise Master Jesus. It's because of that you and I, let us learn to follow Holy Spirit. To follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Because it's the Holy Spirit that put in and my said, don't lie. Don't lie, my daughter. Say the truth, I'm here with you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us read the verse. Uh, we are seeing Romans chapter 8, verse uh, 4 to 5. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. That the righteous of uh, the law might have uh, been a uh, fulfill in us, who now walk uh, not after the flesh, but are uh, after the spirit. Five. For they that uh, are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But the dead that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. You see, they that are after the spirit, they do mind the things of the spirit. The one that is after the flesh, they do mind the things of the flesh. They don't care because that is what they are. They don't care. 
They do what, it, what the flesh told them, anything that the flesh lead them. No, to go and kill, they will do. To go and rob, they will do. To go and rape somebody, they will do. It's the, it's the flesh that leading them to do those evil. They will do. They will do. To go and so, 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 uh, uh, commit suicide, the, the flesh leading them. They will do because they don't know God. Because the Spirit of God is not in them. Praise Master Jesus. The Spirit of God is not in them. You are now, we are led by the Spirit of God. You are now, we must follow the Spirit of God. Holy Spirit helps you and now to fulfill the righteousness of God. To fulfill the righteousness of God. Those who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. You are now fulfilling the righteousness of God is by the help of the Holy Spirit. It's by the help of the Holy Spirit for you are now fulfilling the righteousness of God Almighty. Because God is, is holy. Father God said you and I must be holy. You and I must be holy because he's holy. Say, be ye holy because I am holy. Because I am holy. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Without holiness and righteousness, and follow men with all peace. No man shall see the Lord. Who is going to help you is the Holy Spirit. Is the help of the Holy Spirit. That is this mission. That is the help of the, of the Holy Spirit, beloved. Worldly people might and the, the worldly things. The dead that are after the spirit, things of the, the spirit. Beloved, the, the, the word of the Lord Jesus, as our, our, our almighty God says, he said to you and I, in the flesh, he said, he said to you and, and I, not in the flesh, you and I should not live in the flesh, but live in the spirit. Praise Master Jesus. Let us go to the book, we are seeing the book of Romans, let us start from the, uh, 9 to, to 11. Praise Master Jesus. I read in Jesus, I read in Jesus' name. But uh, ye are not in the flesh, but uh, in the spirit. If so, being uh, that uh, the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if any man have uh, not uh, the spirit of uh, Christ, he, 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 he is none of uh, his. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Please, let's stop there. Verse 9, I read it again. But uh, ye are not in the flesh. You are not, we are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. It's, listen, it says, If so be that uh, the spirit of God dwells in you, now, if any man have uh, not uh, the spirit of Christ, he is not of his. Hallelujah. Amen. If any man, as the word of the Lord is telling you, if any man, tell the, anyone that telling you they, they are born again, look at them, watch them out. Okay. You speak the language of uh, born again language. Watch them out. If the spirit of God is there. How you know, go to know the, the spirit of God, that is the spirit of truth. Watch that person out. Is it genuine? He said, is he born again? The, the word of the Lord is telling you and not that uh, now if any man have uh, not uh, the spirit of Christ, he is not of his. Anyone that doesn't have the spirit of God, even though you speak in tongues, even though you speak in tongues from today to tomorrow, you don't have the spirit of God. You are not of God. It's the word of the Lord. It's not me that's saying it. The word of the Lord is telling, telling you and I. We should not lie to ourselves. We should not deceive ourselves. In verse 10, Romans chapter 8, verse 10 now, to 11. And if Christ, uh, praise Master Jesus. And if Christ had been in you, the body is dead because of sin. Hmm. But uh, the spirit is alive because of righteousness. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You see, righteousness, righteousness paid. Righteousness paid you and I. Look what the, the word of the Lord is telling you and I. He said the one, he said that, and if Christ said, be in you, be in you, be in me, your body, my body is dead. It's dead. He said because of sin. The body is dead because of sin. He said, but uh, the spirit is in life of righteousness. The, the, the righteousness of God. The spirit of God is in you. He's the one that we help you and I to fulfill our righteousness of God. The Holy Spirit. 
verse, praise master Jesus, verse 11. But uh, if uh, the spirit of uh, him that uh, raised up Jesus from uh, the dead uh, dwell in you, he that uh, raised uh, up Christ from the dead shall uh, also quicken your, mo your, mortal, your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you, the spirit of the Lord that dwells in you, that dwells in me, is the one that quickens your motor body, that quickens my motor body. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God Almighty, we bless the name of the Lord. And if Christ be in you and be in me, the body is just to sin, but the spirit, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But the, the give, but the spirit gives uh, gives you an eye, gives you an eye the righteousness of God. If you are not, beloved, if you are, if you, if the, the spirit of uh, Him that rest, that raised Jesus Christ from them, the spirit of Him that raised Jesus Christ from them, that is in you are not, that dwells in you are not. He is the one that quickens your mortal body. He is the one that quickens my mortal body. He is the one that dwell in you. He is the one that dwell in me, the Spirit of God. As the prophet Isaiah says, no? The prophet Isaiah says, he says, he said, those who, 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 who wait upon the name, or who, wait, or who, who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. You know, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up their wisdom like the eagles. So if you are now not waiting upon the Holy Spirit, if you are not Holy Spirit is not with you now, who is going to who is going to strengthen you? He is the one that renew your strength, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit renews your strength. Holy Spirit renew my strength, Holy Spirit of God. Is that means you are now we must depend on the Holy Spirit. You want the strength, your strength to be renewed. You must wait upon the Holy Spirit that quicken your mortal body, that quicken my mortal body. You and I must re rely on Him every day. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We must rely on Him. We are still reading the word of the Lord. Let us go to the, we are still reading verse 13. Let's start from 13 to 15. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 8, verse 13 to 15. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deed of the body, ye shall live. Praise Master Jesus. Verse 14. For as many as are led, by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Hmm. I read it again. Verse 14. Romans chapter 8, verse 14. Please listen carefully. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God. You and, you and I, we are hearing it. Many that are led by the Spirit of God. Not by the spirit of flesh, not by the spirit of, of a human being, but by the spirit of God. Listen with the next uh, statement. He said, They are the sons of God. When you and I are led by the spirit of God, we are the sons of God. But the one that they said they are children of God, but they are not led by the spirit of God. Who are they? Who are they? We are still reading. 15. For ye have not received the spirit of a, a, of a bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of a adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father, the Spirit of God. It's the Spirit of God that has you now to cry, Abba, Father, Almighty God. Beloved, the word of the Lord is telling you and I, I, telling you and I, if we live after the flesh, we shall die. There is no, nothing can stop it. Said, you live in the flesh, you will not die. Nothing can stop unless you change the way 
of God. Unless you live in the way of God, is that time you will not die. But as soon as you live in the flesh, you will die. You don't want to die. You must live in the spirit. You must surrender yourself to God. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You are not, but if you are not live after the spirit of God, the word of the Lord is telling you, so is the Holy Spirit that modify the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The Holy Spirit of God, Almighty God, the Holy Spirit, Almighty God, that he bless you and I with. Praise Master Jesus. He is the one that leading you and I, helping us, taking us, snatching us out of the bondage. We are not in, in the bondage anymore. By the Spirit of God is helping you and I, Holy Spirit of God. Where well, Holy Spirit of God help us every moment of the day. Now you and I can call upon our Father, Almighty God, Abba, Father. Abba, Father. If you are not, hmm, if you are not, have not received the Spirit of, 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 of God, that means the person that doesn't receive the Spirit of God is in bondage, is in the cage. It's in the bondage, it's in the cage. God will not be left. It's because of that you and I must surrender to Jesus. You must, you and I must uh, accept Jesus Christ as our Lord, our Savior. Our Lord, our Savior. To the adoption that you and I call upon our Father, Abba, Father. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The, the spirit of adoption is another privilege belonging to those that are in Christ Jesus. The, the, the spirit of adoption is a privilege to you. It's a privilege to me that Jesus abducted you as his child. He abducted me as his child. It's a privilege. It's not everybody that has this privilege. Lord Jesus Christ, I wish everybody will come to this knowledge. But it's not every pillar, everyone that has this privilege. You and I that have this privilege, we are blessed. You and I, we are blessed. All that are Christ are taken into the relation of a God, of a children of God. You and I, we are now we are in a, we are children of God. You are called a child of God. I am a called a child of God by the help of the Holy Spirit that draws you and I that testify Jesus Christ to so you and I. We bless the Holy Spirit. We thank God for Holy Spirit. We thank God for Jesus that help us that intercede for us for God to send. The helper to you and I, we thank Jesus. He's the one that done all for us. We bless his holy name. Beloved, the children of God, they are led by the Spirit of God. If you are out there, you know within you, you, you are a liar. Or within you, 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 you are doing, your, your heart is bitter. And you call yourself a child of God. Please, go and ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy because God, God, Holy Spirit wants to lead you every day. He wants to help you every day because when you are doing all those evil things, He will not help you because He's holy. He's pure. He will not stay where He's not clean. Beloved, Holy Spirit of God, they are, uh, beloved, the one that belongs to Jesus, uh, the children of God, uh, you and I, we call upon Jesus. We accept him as our Lord, our Savior. We are his children, almighty God. Holy Spirit will lead you. He will lead me every day. It's because that when you say something to your neighbor, or you say something to your husband, or you say something to your wife, your children, harshly, Holy Spirit will remind you immediately, 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 you know, wasting time. Immediately, what you have said is wrong. How you say, it, even though it's not wrong, but how you, how you, your tone, the, 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 the voice, how you raise your voice, how you spoke that word, it was not good. You could have spoke it nicely, say softly to that person. Holy Spirit will remind you immediately, it will not let you go back. That is the Holy Spirit. If you are really a true believer or a true child of God, the Holy Spirit leads you. I can know for myself, if I say something, if I say something to somebody that I say something also harsh to somebody, I say something, or even though I don't say something to that person, I said it in my mind, Holy Spirit will correct me immediately what you have said, what you have said, repent. 
I said, Father, forgive me. If it's the one that we said, call that person immediately, I will take the phone. I will call that person. But uh, what I told you was, uh, it's not like this, it's like this. I will explain everything to the detail for the person. Even though the, the person will start asking me, why are you telling me this one? I don't really want to know that. Uh, now, the Holy Spirit told me to. to to come apologize to tell you to tell you I, many times many times when you, when the holy spirit i said oh holy spirit i thank you immediately i am doing it because you are led because i am led by the holy spirit it's because of that he's our he's our helper he knows the traps that the satan has set for us in that day he knows when we don't submit to him <laughs> ah you know I thank God for God. You know, you know, and the devil, the devil is the first archangel God created. You can imagine how many years, how many years that phobia has been living, that enemy. How many years he has been living? He knows the, tra the, 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 the tactics. He knows, he knows the strategies, but I thank God for God. As he is planning the strategy against his children, my God Almighty, it's, it's, it's a cancer, it's my Holy Spirit, is helping you also to, to jump over, jump and pass. Everything is planning for the Holy Spirit, help us to jump and pass. What is planning? Had it been that the help of the Holy Spirit, you and I cannot be able to, 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 to skip the, 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 the words of the devil. Is the Holy Spirit because He knew what He has said, what He had planned. If it's not by His grace, we thank God for the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Beloved, my beloved ones, my, my sisters, my brothers out there. You know, if you are, you know, you and I, we went to school. The one that went to school, even though it's only primary school, you went, you went to school. I thank God for our lives. The one that went to school, you know, who is leading you when you go to school? Is it not your teacher? Is your teacher as a as a scholar in a, his a learning? As a scholar in his learning, he is led by who? He's led by his a tutor. He's led by his teachers. He's led by his tutor because he depends on them. He's going to school so that they will teach him. They will so that they will teach him. He depends on them. Praise Master Jesus. You see, as a traveler, you are now when we are traveling, uh, not formally, when you are not going for traveling, we are traveling, we will go, we will go to the boat and the, the, the place and the shops to buy map, road map. But now you don't have to buy road map anymore. <laughs> we thank God for the iPhone. And sorry, for the for the smartphone. We thank God for the smartphone. You just have to put your smartphone in the in the in the GPS. It will direct you where you go. Okay, you are traveling right now. You are on your journey. You will set it where you are going. As you set it, then we the the, the navigate the, the navi will tell you ah uh, two hours you need to get there. Two hours, 15 minutes, two hours, 10, 10 minutes, two hours, no, or one hour plus, or 30 minutes plus. Then we tell you the time you will get there. Hallelujah. Thank God. The technology is advising, advancing as a, as, a, as a prophet of God. Prophet Daniel had prophesied, and it's what is happening today. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So now they will tell you everything. You go, you go, you go do nada. They will tell you 500 meters. Oh, 1,000 meters. You have to turn right or left. You have to take curve is coming. You have, this is curve. They show you everything. Formally, you just go to the, to the, to the shop. You buy a uh, road map. Is that one you start reading? You will read. I can remember one. <laughs> Once we were in the Spain, in my in Mallorca. In Mallorca, we were in Spain. <laughs> Me and my husband and my little children, we were in the car. We were going some. We, we were going to the beach that time. As we were going to the beach, taking the children to the beach, we don't even know. We just know because we just got there. So my husband, we don't know nowhere. No, no, in that place we know nobody. We thank God for his direction. So my husband with the road map. So we were traveling, going to this beach. We were just following. We we. We, we, 
he will drive a little bit. He will stop and we read the road map where where we will go now, which side, which direction. You know, and we <laughs> he will start reading and we will, we start going. And the place was so far where we want to go. And there is somebody that was behind us. A car was behind him, behind us. That this car was driving. <laughs> this car was driving behind us. And this car, I think this car, these people in this car, they don't have a road map. Because that time there was no, no, no smartphone that time. They don't they didn't have a road map. But they were tracing us because it's like a bushes out there. Really like bushes there. You have to really no no houses nearby. So they were following us. Where we go, then we followed us. We go right, then we follow, we go left, then we follow. They didn't know we self. We don't know where we are, we were going. Have you <laughs> have you ever followed somebody that doesn't know where he's going? And you want to go, maybe you want to go from A to 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 to, to F. You want to go from A <laughs> to F. And the person that you're following doesn't even know the way. How do you feel? Do you feel comfortable? You don't feel comfortable because you don't know where you people will end up. <laughs> you don't know where the you people will end up. Are you going to end up where you are really going or you will end up in somewhere? That is it. You are now, we should not follow the Satan. We should not follow the flesh because the flesh don't know where he's going. The Satan doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't know where he's going to be because God has pushed, thrown him out of the heaven. It's because of that is fighting you and I for us not to go there. He knows what is in the heaven is glorious. He knows when you go, when you step, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a plan. Oh, he, ha, he can see, see you rejoicing in heaven. Hallelujah. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. You and I, we will make it. No matter the, no matter the plan he's planning, no matter his demons, and no matter his agent, by the grace of God, we will make it in Jesus' name. Let us follow the, 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 the leading of the Holy Spirit, beloved. Because that time, as a, a traveler in a, his a journey, is led by his guide. Like as I said, we led by, him, by the guide. We were taking take the road map, but we didn't even know, know where we are going. But I thank God for, for God. Finally, we found the beach. <laughs> we were laughing. Me and my husband, we were laughing so much. Because the, the people that followed, and they didn't even know. We, 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 I was saying, we don't even know where we are going. We were just trying. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As a soldier, you know the soldiers. As a soldier in a, his a, engagement, they engage in many things. So soldiers they engage in many things. And the, the soldier, the soldier in his a, engagement, he is led by his a, captain. He's a, he's a captain. They have their own captains. They're leading them. They're leading them to their to their, to their uh, uh, engagements. The engagement they are is the captain. Their captain that leading them. They follow the leading of their captains. So you and I, as a as a as a as, as a scholar, as a scholar in his, his learning is led by his uh, tutor. As a traveler in his journey, is a lad by his guide. As a soldier in his engagement, is led by his captain. You and I must be led by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, Holy Spirit, we must be led as a child of God, as a believer, we must be led by the Holy Spirit every day. Praise Master Jesus every day. All the true believers, all the true believers, all of us, all of us, all of us, they are, we are led by the Spirit of God as a child of God. Believers have submitted themselves in a believing into all the guardians. You have now, we must follow the guardians. The guardians and the obedient, when the Holy Spirit tells you to do something, do it. It's for your good. When the Holy Spirit corrects you for something, do it. It's for your good correct. It correct you immediately. Take that correction. Follow that correction. And it will lead you good. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It will lead you sweetly. Holy Spirit 
sweetie, we lead you, sweetie, we lead you into all truth and duty. Your duty, God send you. To. You know when before you, but before God put you in your mother mother's womb, before God puts me in my mother's womb, He know what you will do. He He has already give you your duty. He has already gave you your duty. Gave me my duty. Is the enemy that knows the, the duty that knows the 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 the, 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 the our stars? Our destiny, enemy is fighting you and I for us not to fulfill it, for us not to keep it. But I thank God for God. I thank God for God. You and I, we will fulfill our purpose, our duty on this earth. We shall complete, we will complete our mission on this earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The sons of God, they receive into my, into my, my, into number of a God's children by adoption. Honor and the love by him as a his children. God Almighty God holds you and the love by you. Praise my Sajuj. He loves you. Almighty God loves you as his children. And the those that are the sons of God, they have the spirit of God. Those that are the sons of God, they have the spirit of God, beloved. Praise Master Jesus. Let us go. Praise Master Jesus. We are still reading Romans chapter 8, verse 26 to 27. I read it in Jesus' name. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with, with a groaning which cannot be uttered. 27. And he that searcheth the Spirit knows what is in mind of a man what is in the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to you the will of god holy spirit make it intercession for you for me holy spirit make it intercession for you praise master jesus you know praise master jesus the help of the holy spirit in our prayer no when you are not praying when you and I pray, while we are praying, the only thing, the only thing that comes to our mind is the Holy Spirit that helping us, waiting, hoping and waiting for what uh, the what we shall not, what we know we cannot able to even answer. As Almighty God, Holy Spirit helping us to ask. Our thoughts goes wandering, our mind goes wandering, but I thank God for Holy Spirit. The distraction in prayer. When you pray, the distraction there, Holy Spirit is helping you and I to intercede. We bless the name of the Lord. Beloved, the Spirit in heart, your spirit and my heart in heart, dwell in us, the Spirit of God that dwells in you and I, helps you and I as a spirit of a grace and a supplication. The Spirit of God that dwells in you and I, it's the spirit of grace. It's the spirit of grace and the supplication. He, he, he prayed for you. He prayed for me. Supplicating he, he, the grace and the supplication, helping us to pray, pleading every moment of the day. What a help. What a help, Holy Spirit. That He helping you and I every day. We bless the name of the Lord. You know, beloved, you and I, you knew that Jesus Christ, our Lord Almighty, He's praying for you. He's interceding for me and you in heaven. He's interceding for you and in heaven. Then the, as he's interceding for you, Father God, head, Holy Head, Father Lord Jesus Christ, prayer. The same as beloved, the, the Spirit is silent. Now, when we are praying, we are in fears. The Holy Spirit help us to overcome our fear, our discouragement. And He help us, He pray for you and now. Help us to intercede. He's our intercessor. He said, He help us to intercede every day. And you and I, by the grace of God, we will make it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As he always he here, the as he always here, the Son interceding for us. Father God always here. Father Lord Jesus Christ interceding here. His Son that is interceding for you and I in the heaven every moment of the day. Same is sharing Holy Spirit interceding for you and I on this earth. Holy Spirit is helping you and now interceding. We depend on the Holy Spirit because his intercession is a, according to the will of God. Holy Spirit intercession is according to the will of God. Praise Master Jesus. Holy Spirit intercession is according to the will of God. Interceding for you and a groaning 
which cannot be uttered. We do not stand alone before God. What uh, we don't, we you and I, we are not standing alone before God when we are praying. Holy Spirit is there. We tell you, with you and I, what a blessed hope and a comfort uh, this uh, gives us. What a blessed hope. What a blessed uh, hope and a comfort. The word of the Lord is giving you that you and I, we have an intercessor that interceding for us. A blessed hope, a blessed hope and a comfort that gives you and I the spirit of the most high god he prays for you he prays for me we bless the name of the lord he said to live he live in you he live in me moment by moment independent on we depend on him we depend on him holy spirit holy spirit is sensitive we should be listening to him let us obey him let us hear his voice when he speaks to us my daughter my son don't do this don't do this evil don't do this evil repent Call that person. Say sorry to that person. Apologize what you have said. Just let us do it. It's for your good. It's for my good. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep it. This is the word of the Lord. Almighty God has given to me and you. Let us put it, let us put it in practice and be obedient, an obedient child of God. Let us obey the Holy Spirit. When he leads us, please let us follow his uh, guidance. He will lead us. He will never lead us wrong. He wants you and I to make heaven. He wants you and I to see our maker one day. That almighty God will tell you and I, welcome my faithful servant. Come into my glory. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy that day you will see your maker. What a joy that day you will see all your suffering. You will forget. In a, in a twinkle of eye, you will forget. You will, you will, you, 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 the, all those suffering will be forgotten. You throw it's like you immediately it's true. Father Lord Jesus Christ threw them. We threw them inside the inside the being. Praise Master Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord for loving us so much, for sending his precious son to be a blessing to us, and sending his Holy Spirit to be a blessing to us. We are blessed. We are just blessed generations. Gen sorry, generation. We are blessed generation. We bless the name of the Lord for blessing us. We bless his holy name. We exalt his holy name. We thank God for his word, Father. I thank you for your word. I have delivered your word. Almighty God, give us the grace to, to, to let the Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit, to lead us every moment of the day, to guide us and help us to obey him, to be sensitive to his voice. When he speaks to all, help us to hear him. Holy Spirit of God, help us every time to let Holy Spirit lead us. Please, Holy Spirit of God, we welcome in our life. Please help us to put it in practice. In Jesus' name, I see the word. With the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, my Lord, I bless you in Jesus' name. Virg <coughs> Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, I want to come virtuous. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome you all in the name of Jesus Christ. You are welcome. You are welcome. I have to, first and foremost, I am asking for my sisters, my brother that doesn't know God. You didn't believe that Jesus Christ is Son of God. Please, you have to believe, accept Him as your Lord, your Savior. Please, that uh, this offer that I'm offering you right now, please accept it. Just do it. Just as, call Jesus Christ as your Lord. Call Him. Let Him come and be with you. Because you now, you don't have Jesus Christ in your life. Holy Spirit cannot lead you. Holy Spirit cannot lead you because the Holy Spirit is not in you. Unless the day you will accept Jesus Christ, as you will accept Jesus Christ today. Holy Spirit will dwell in you. Then Holy Spirit, that, then that moment is that sign. Holy Spirit will start leading you step by step. Till you get home. You get to heaven to help to your Father, Almighty God. Please, I would like you to, to give your life to Jesus. Surrender your life to Jesus. Because one day, you and I, we will close our eyes in death. Where are you going? Have you decided? Have you decided where you will spend your eternity? Please, I want you to decide now. Because you, don't, you never know the day you will close your eye in death. I don't know the day I will close my eye in death. It's because of that you and I, we must be prepared. We must surrender. Ask our Lord Jesus Christ to be our Lord, our Savior. Holy Spirit, we continue to lead you and I in Jesus' name. Please pray this prayer after me. Please don't reject this offer. Don't turn this offer away. Please give your life to Jesus. He loves you. Lord Jesus loves you. He doesn't want to miss you. He doesn't want you to cry at dying or that day. Please, hellfire is free. Heaven is free. He doesn't want you to go to hellfire because hellfire, Father God, pour all his anger 
in her fire the anger that what may the lord bless you the anger the anger of uh, of uh, the devil what the enemy had done to destroy the anger of almighty god he poured it in, in her fire preparing for satan is the falling angels please he doesn't want you to go there he loves you he loves you so dearly you are unique to him don't let the enemy lie to you there is no god don't let the enemy lie to you there is no 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 no, no son of god there is the word of the lord said the one that don't believe that the the the, the, the son the son the god god the, his son don't believe that is a beloved the jesus christ is the beloved and is a beloved son the god is son is condemned already please Almighty God don't want, he doesn't want you to be condemned. He's calling you back home. Give your life to, to Jesus. He loves you. Jesus loves you. Please pray this prayer after me. Please, please. I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't, don't turn it off. Please don't let the enemy see. Don't let the enemy see heaven from you. Please. Because he know, devil knows he is not going there. No, no chance for him to go to heaven anymore. To see in heaven any, to live in heaven anymore. Please. Please surrender to Jesus. Please give your life to Jesus. Please, in Jesus' name. Pray this prayer after me. Mean it with all your heart. Please, I ask in Jesus' name. This, you know, God has given, given you the God has given you another year again. Please don't let this year pass by. No, giving your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. Now is the time of salvation. Pray this pray after me in Jesus' name. Dear God, I am a sinner. I need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ has shared his precious blood for me and I died for my sin. I am willing to turn from sin. I now invited Jesus Christ to come into my heart as my personal savior. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. May the Lord bless you. I am happy for you. Jesus Christ is happy for you. You have come home. You have come home. Hallelujah. You come home. You are home. Thank Jesus. Thank Jesus. The angels of the Lord, they are rejoicing over your soul. I am thank I am I rejoice over your soul. And I thank God for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please. You are a child of God right now. We bless the name of the Lord. Welcome you in the body of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Please look for a Bible church. Please look for the Bible. The church that preach undiluted word of God, they will not cheat you. They will not tell you, bring seed here, bring seed here, bring seed here, sowing seed here, sowing seed here, lying to you. No. They will teach you undiluted word of God, solid word of God. And you will grow by grace, by the help of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, we start leading you right as from today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please buy Bible, Holy Bible. And reading the word of the Lord to help you so much is our menu. The Bible is our menu. It's your, your menu, the, the heavenly food, the manna, that is the word of God. Please tell your pastors, tell them to baptize you with a water baptism. Say, tell them I need water baptism. Because Lord Jesus Christ did. He was baptized and he told you and I and he told his children. We, he told us to do the same. Tell them to baptize. Tell them you need the water baptism. May the Lord give your pastor the grace to baptize you, to do the water baptism for you in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you. I cover you by the precious blood of the Lamb of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Virtual one may the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you. I just love you. I love you with the love of God. Virtual Sume, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you, virtuous man. You, I, I welcome you all to this new year. I thank God for giving you and I the grace to live a holy life, righteous life throughout the 2020, 2019. Now we are in 2020. Hallelujah. What a joy. We bless the name of the Lord. Virtuous man, may the Lord Almighty, the Lord Almighty that brought you and I this 2020, May the Lord open doors, doors, doors of opportunity for you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Doors of a favor, doors of favor, doors of victory, doors of good health unto you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. It is my prayer. This 2020, you and now we shall not lack in Jesus' name. You and now we shall learn unto nations in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord prosper you spiritually, physically, and financially in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. We thank God. Please, we should not forget evangelism. Let us go out there, continue evangelizing, evangelize our Lord Jesus Christ, telling them, telling the dying world, Jesus Christ loves you, my sister, my brother. Jesus Christ loves you. Let us begin throwing the seed out, just carrying the seed, be throwing the, carrying the seed, be throwing them out, giving it to them, and God will give them the grace to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord, their Savior. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Tell them virtues me another year we enter right now. Let us run fast to win souls for Jesus. Let us run fast. We can able to run to win souls for Jesus. Anything that we can know, you know, you can able to do to win souls for Jesus. Just do it for the glory of God. We reward you greatly on this earth. We reward you in heaven. He will reward you in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Turn then the word of the Lord. Give them the word of the Lord. If they are you just only, if it is only. If it only is only you just want to give them uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 8 <laughs> is enough. Let them go and read it. That uh, they will see all those, uh, all those uh, Jezebel property makeups, all those uh, facing their head, perming their head with a, with a realizer and, uh, and they're breaching their skins. They are lying. All liars, where they will go. It's not their portion for them to go to hellfire. It's their portion to be born again. It's their portion to go to heaven and meet their heavenly father in Jesus. Christ. Because of that, we have to evangelize. If you and I don't evangelize, so who is going to tell them? I went for evangelism when the, 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 that is last month. I went for evangelism. So when I went to this evangelism, so as I was uh, as I was uh, as I was saying what I was saying to them to give their life to Jesus. Me, I was there when I was saying it, when I got there, it was, it was, it was the ending of the year, that December, just the ending, ending of the year, maybe the last week of the year, of the, of the, of the, the last week of the year. As I, as I got there, as I stood there, as I was saying, give your life to Jesus, it's like, as I was saying it, I know, once in a week, God gave me grace to go in for a fast jealousy once in a week. And uh, as I was saying it, hey, even me, myself, it's like I took it. It's like I was a blind trumpet. The sound, the sound, I didn't, I don't have, I don't have my microphone in my hand, just standing, speaking the word. But the sound that was coming that day, I was surprised. I was shocked myself. I was saying, hey. It's me that saying this. I know it's not me. It's the Father God that's saying it. Can you believe? <laughs> it's Father God that was evangelizing, shouting to the people to give their life to Jesus. I said, one woman passed. As the lady passed, the lady said, ah, she has already gave her life to Jesus. I said, thank God for you. As I said, thank God for you, the lady went forward and they came back and gave to me. And the lady said, you know, ah, stop, stop it. I should not say, say, tell, tell people to give their life to Jesus. I said, why not? He said, because the, the people know Jesus rescued them already. I said, yes. I said, you know that Jesus died for you, gave his life for you. He said, yes. I said, do you know many people doesn't know that people uh, Jesus died for them? He said, yes, that is true. I said, that is why I'm here. That is why I'm here. You knew that Jesus Christ done it for you. There are many people out there, they don't know. They have to come here to shout it for them. I, I, should, not, I should not shout. I say, oh, I continue my, uh, my evangelism because she's not the one that sent me there. Father God sent me there. I'm doing the will of my, my father, not the will of man. So we bless the name of the Lord. Let us go out there. Let us continue, continue, continue as we did last, last year. Let us continue this year evangelizing evangelizing take your trust when you are going going out put your trust in your bag you can just divide it to people my lord jesus loves you i just want to give to you my sister my brother just share the the trust to people if you don't want to talk too much just give them the trust everything is in a trust if you have a virtuous many christ and want it from god to all women 
Divide it for them. If you don't have, but you have other trusts that turn a bad warning, that talk about uh, repentance, please give it to the children of God. God will give them the grace to repent. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Thank God for God. I bless the name of the Lord. Amen. I love you all with the love of God. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus. And may the Lord keep you in good health in the name of Jesus. Christ. May the Lord provide for you, provide for your family in the name of Jesus. Christ. The one that doesn't have job this year, may the Lord provide job for you in the name of Jesus. Christ. The one that, been, that, 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 that our sisters out there that believe in God for fruit of the womb this year, by the grace of God, God will bless you with Child, child in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you with bouncing child in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Thank God for God in the name of Jesus Christ. I see I see the word of the Lord with the precious blood on the Lamb of God. I love you all. Shalom. 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 I love you all. Shalom.